5 cent triple XXX took root here as a popular 1930s brew. Before Google, there was Brewer's Dictionary of Phrase and Fable. My Aunt Dorothy Johnson, sensing my pending writing career, presented 18-year-old me with the red-covered 970-page reference treasury for Christmas in 1969. Today, I reach for brewers to seek the origin of the term XXX. The sober tome has a coherent answer. X on beer casks formerly indicated beer which had paid the old ten-shilling duty, and hence it came to mean beer of a given quality. Two or three crosses are mere trademarks intended to convey the impression that the beer so marked was twice or thrice as strong as that which paid this duty. Thus, in 1920, when prohibition took effect nationally, a Texas firm took note appropriating the term by marketing a new non-alcoholic beverage by the name of Triple XXX Root Beer. Soon, capitalizing on the automotive craze, the soft drink spread throughout the South via sales at barrel-shaped drive-ins. The brand expanded west in the late 1920s, and the first of more than a dozen stands in our state took root along busy arterials. A Seattle Times ad called such franchises a gold mine. The triple XXX in our then image opened in 1931. Owner Otto A. Kienel claimed a fortuitous site across McClellan Street from the Seattle Indians' Dugdale Field and two blocks northwest of stately Franklin High School. The double-barreled drive-in drew droves of minor league baseball fans, and local teens to quaff five-cent mugs of innocent brew. Dugdale burned in 1932, but from its ashes, Six Stadium and the Seattle Rainiers arose in 1938, when Franklin Phenom and former major leaguer Fred Hutchinson became a draw. The late Bob Keenel, Otto's son, told me in a 2000 interview that Hutch and other players were mainstays at the Triple XXX. That's where all the action was, said Keenel, who washed dishes and swept the parking lot after school. So many of those ball players practically adopted my mom and dad. It was like home to them. Intriguingly, the twin barrels were not a mere advertising shell. One barrel was my parents' bedroom, the other was mine, and my brother slept in the middle, Bob said. My bedroom was right over the pinball machines and the jukebox, so I learned at an early age to sleep through anything. Triple X barrels faded from the local scene by the 1960s. A former barrel still operates as a Chinese restaurant on Lake City Way, and a Triple XXX thrives in Issaquah, though its barrel is flat, not three-dimensional. In these coronavirus days, all manner of takeout and root beer endure, and a fun mystery remains. Why the redundancy in triple XXX? Not even the aptly named brewers can say. In our then photo facing southwest, Otto A. Keenel poses in 1936 with five female staff members in front of his triple XXX drive-in lunch station at 2822 Rainier Avenue South. Two years later, Six Stadium opened behind the eatery. Today, standing at the Keenel site, now the Mount Baker Transit Center for King County Metro, are, at left, Bainbridge Island's Chuck Flood, author of Lost Restaurants of Seattle, pnwhighwayhistory.com, and North Bend's Greg Keenel, grandson of Otto Kino. Greg holds a 1940 colorized photo of another triple XXX stand on 4th Avenue South in which his grandpa was partnered. <laughs>